Good morning, friends. It's been a really long time, and I'm back. <laughs> my name is Justin. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I play guitar on songs in Nashville, and the last few months have been just insane. If you're waiting on guitar tracks from me and you see this video pop up and you're like, he's doing videos instead of getting to my song, I'm really sorry. I understand. Um, this just feels like record season right now. Like, a lot of the artists that I work for, um, they're getting songs tracked before they go out on tour. Touring season is typically spring through fall. If you do a, if you do a fall tour, um, fall can be super busy. Or maybe there's a winter tour or a Christmas tour. But the early part of the year, it's just generally not as heavy as far as, as artists that travel and due dates are concerned. And so they use that time to write and cut songs. So it's just been insane. And I'm not saying that to brag. I'm just offering a bit of, uh, I don't know. I'm making excuses, okay? <laughs> uh, I know I have a few songs to get to, and I'm gonna get to one right now. Um, this is from a subscriber. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to say, I got a song here. That's a, uh, that's a, uh, favorite tagline of the channel. Well, this this is a song from a subscriber named Tom, and I haven't listened all the way through to it. I lined it up in Pro Tools and tapped out the tempo. It's always helpful if you send me the tempo, and he probably did, but we have so many emails, and sometimes I just get this little tempo app out on my phone, and I figure it out. And so we're at 118 BPM. I need to write my chart, and then I'm going to start adding some parts. So uh, here we go. Today seems so long without you Wandering around Wondering what you're doing If there was a way I could be there and here I would hold you But your mind was the way Okay, we're at 118 BPM and the changes just got really fast on me here. I can't keep up. I can't write that fast. So there's a lot of pushes and it sounds like a lot of band moves. Pushes meaning that the chords change like they anticipate the downbeat of the bar or they anticipate beat three in the middle of the bar or something. Um, so I'm going to back up a little bit and just see. And some of these chords are so colorful. It's like... What is that? <laughs> okay, so here's somewhere in the early part of the verse. The pre-chorus got, got a little, little wacky, and then the chorus, the chords are just moving fast. So let's see. So that's interesting. It's almost like a one over three. Yeah. Okay, let me, let me back up just a hair. Boom. 
Looks like he goes up to a six, oh, not quite a six minor. I don't know. That's what I'm gonna write. And when I have a guitar in my hand and I'm playing, if it feels wrong, then maybe it's wrong. Same spot. Let's get on the top of the chorus. It's cool. Um, it's just hard to chart because the changes move so fast and there's pushes and then not pushes and there's a beat four move happening. Okay, I might have gotten myself into trouble writing uh, repeats for my chart. This is what I have so far. Try to keep it in the light, but also what you can see if you can read it. Just a lot, a lot, a lot. So this, there's a bunch of stuff over one, it sounds like. the timing on that. Great. It sounds like we're in the home stretch into a last chorus. Here we go.
Okay. Let's grab a guitar and see if we can actually play what we wrote out here. I'll be right back. We're in the key of F. I think I'm in standard. Oh yeah. There's so much happening in, happening in the acoustic track that I'm I don't need to be Mr. Movement and Mr. Color and uh, very rhythmic at all. I think I think my involvement in the verses, maybe in in the back half of the verses or the second verse, can be something that plays off of the vocal, where I just dart in and out, like we've talked about a lot on this channel. Um, but man, the the acoustic and the pushes and the moves, the song is very busy. And I think when it settles into that chorus groove, it's cool. You know, I'm not I'm not saying. Very, it's very busy as a way to say like, oh man, this, I wish this were different, or I'm not being derogatory at all. I'm just saying that that all of these things that I'm listening to and what I'm playing along with is kind of telling me to dial it way back, way back. <laughs> so, um, having made a bunch of mental notes, let me get a let me get a chorus together. wonder like power chords just don't seem right maybe it's a maybe it's more of a um If that's the case, let's do let's soften our sound a little bit. I'll get off of the get off of the box of rock. Um, or or am I a droney guy? Maybe I'm moving my capo around to just figure out what kind of voicing I want to give. It could be. Move still works. Let's see here. Let's just. Let's tune relative to our capo position. If you ever move a capo around or add a capo, tune afterward. Tune to the capo. Okay. Here we go.
Oh, I want one more. I'm gonna turn the tremolo off because I think I want to. I think I want to double this with a thinner sounding guitar. Okay, see if see if the uh, if the idea can come to life. Let's grab a telly. Oh yeah, this is gonna be great. I'm gonna pan this guy. Where is my telly currently panned? Straight up the middle. Let's pull it over. Okay, these will be these will be panned well in stereo. So let's let's just see what happens here. I like it. I like that it's not a it's not a perfect stereo double. It's it's two different voices. I probably won't pan these like super hard, but you know, uh, ten and two instead of hard hundred percent pan each way. Let's grab the next chorus. Where's that next? All right. And he goes, he does a falsetto thing in the next chorus vocally, which is, I'm going to bring the vocal down a little bit more, um, just so I can really focus on where all the chords are hitting, because it gets pushier in the second chorus. Here we go. Um, I kind of have it in the back of my mind that maybe it's, maybe both sides are the telly. So I'm going to try that on the second chorus, and I'll go back and, and track over the 335 in the first chorus if that's the, if that's the move. Interesting move there, where he's playing the... Uh... And then there's some version, some voicing of a, of a, like, almost a four minor with, with that one ringing out. Something like that. And I noticed... That chorus wasn't pushier than I thought it was. It's just the, the last move. Let's do that track one more time, and then, then we'll double it. Then we shall double. Let's catch that. And I'm triple checking tuning. High string was a hair sharp. So I have uh, a little bit of dirt from the tilt overdrive, the overdrive side of the tilt 
Sean Tubbs pedal. And I've got a little bit of reverb from the Maris Mercury 7 plate setting. Otherwise, that's just the, uh, the glory of the biscuit through my old Sorrow Jamp. Here we go. That's a push into that four chord that I didn't write down. Let's call that third bar four minor over one. That makes sense. Here we go. Now, let's double that whole mess. I, I would call it chorus two plus interlude. Here we go. Tracking over my original track. Double for real. Okay, I want to match it a little better. Start over. Catch that push. Okay. Okay, last chorus, home stretch, and then we've got our basic rhythm tracks. That, I mean, there's so much going on in the verse and the pre. I don't, I don't, I don't feel like I need to be there chugging or raking. Or maybe there'll be a different sound in the pre-chorus where there's some like sort of raked diamonds or schlangs, schlangs as they are known and loved. So uh, back to my first track, last chorus. Uh, here we go. And this one's got some rests at the top. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll actually be able to read my own chart. We'll see.
Boy, that click's punishing, ain't it? So I'm, I'm playing like I'm an E, right? Capo one. It's like an E chord, but it's F. Um, I've really liked these voicings where you kind of hint at a chord change, but you don't quite fully get there, you know, like... That's effectively a four chord. It's a four over six. It, uh, my mind thinks of it as a four over six over one. You could say four sus two over six over one. I mean, I, I, I don't know. To me, it's like it's a four chord with some color, right? Well, that move in the bridge, that six is the third of a four. That's the four major triad, right? But if we flat that third, it becomes minor. So that's that color, that four minor color in the bridge. So instead of it's you can add some more color with the two in there, which kind of hints at a five chord with a flat nine, right? Kind of like almost a diminished. Anyway. Um, I feel like I feel like I screwed up this last intro, or sorry, this last chorus. Let's do it one more time. Boom, 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 boom. That's the that's the in. Boom, 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 boom. Let's do that. fine on let's uh let's leave that from the previous now let's double it let's really support that in jun 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 I don't even know if I need to hit that last. It's like the entire band's gone and it's just him and his acoustic. It should probably be that. But in case he's like, hey, it'd be cool if you hit that diamond with me, I'm gonna make the rest of the band swell into it or whatever. There's a couple of them there, all right? Thinking ahead. So um, I did end up using the telly on both tracks. So in that case, Let's go back and cut the first chorus, first guitar. Now the first chorus feels different, so it might take me a second to get this down, but uh, here we go.
Yeah, man. Yeah, that's terrible. Let's mute that for now. We'll retract both. Let's retract both. One more. Now let's uh, let's track our double to that. So close. So close, let me grab that last move and then the tag. Mm, one more. Back up a bit. Awesome. Now let's grab a uh, Jazz Master. Oh, yes. Should that be doubled? Should it? I don't know. Let's see what happens. Double double, not harmony double. I'm going with octave up. never happens again. There's not a turnaround that has those chords or anything, so the intro's just kind of being its own thing. Um, so let's get, let's get back in. Let's get back in on that other track.
triple check and tuning. It's a fun chord. I'm not sure how much all this is adding, but I'm going to go back to it. I like that a lot. I like that extra. So um, I'm playing a major seven over the four. Really, if the bass notes were there, it would be. So um, let me solidify that chorus part because that's going to be the thing. And I can't decide if it's got too much GAC on it. Maybe it does. So, one more time on this chorus, and th this is without anything. I just, I changed the sound. I went to uh, box of rock. Let's see what happens. pushes into that chord. Let me grab that. I like those fills. Get on the get on the bridge pickup for the chorus, but I like like all that.
Okay. Yeah, I guess there's going to be a little lead guy over that spot. <laughs> Where's that start exactly? Yeah, I'm going to bring the track down just to hear my tracks more. Cool with that. I'm cool with that. That's just, I just want that last bar. That felt very inspired and in the moment, so I'm just gonna fix the mistake I made at the very end. That's right, that's the move. Jum, 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 jum. Boy, I had two, two misses there. Two strikes. Maybe I'll do that. thing. Beauty. Okay, well, you know, this feels done to me. I've got the stereo, stereo chords, I've got a, an intro part that's interesting. It doesn't come back, but sometimes they don't have to, you know? And then uh, we got this lead guy. Let's see what they say. Yeah, long video. All right, we'll see you later. Have a good one.